Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The aerial combat challenges have evolved from a dogfight to beyond visual range combat and now moving towards electronic warfare domain. Beat F-35 or Gripen or Rafale, the secret of their success lies in better electronic warfare capabilities. Now, India's premier defense research institute, DRDO, has made significant progress in electronic warfare segment, which is not only designed to handle present threat, but will also be able to deter the future challenges. And the two most important electronic warfare components in this area are self-protection jammer pods and radar warning receiver. The self-protection jammer is an ECM that is electronic countermeasure system that jams the signal of hostile radar and thus provide protection to the aircraft. The jammer first detects the radiation of enemy emitters and compares it with its integral threat library. If the transmission either is confirmed to be hostile or is an unknown threat, the jammer radiates and jams the enemy receiver and thus attempts to protect the aircraft. At the same time, the radar warning receiver also detects the radio emission of radar system, but their primary purpose is to issue a warning when a radar signal that might be a threat is detected. Now, DIDO has developed indigenous ASPJ, that is, Advanced Self Protection Jammer Pod, and Dhruti Digital Radar Warning Receiver for Indian fighter jets. Both the systems are completely indigenous beat hardware or software. The Dhruti RWR detects the hostile radio frequency signal and transfer its data to ASPJ, which in turn jams the incoming hostile radio frequency signal. The purpose of this system is to provide protection to the aircraft against ground-based acquisition radar, fire control radar, anti-aircraft artillery and airborne multi-mode radars. Now, talking about DRDO's ASPJ, it is developed on gallium nitride-based solid-state AESA jammer transmitters. ASPJ is based on Active Phased Array APA, Ultra Wide Band DRFM that is Digital Radio Frequency Memory and an inbuilt cooling system. The DRFM jammers are famous for their capabilities to severely degrade the adversaries, radar and missile seekers. The cooling system is another important component of ASPJ, which was earlier imported but now has been developed completely indigenous. The ASPJ pod radiates a lot of energy, which in turn generates a lot of heat internally. So in order to ensure the proper functioning of the onboard electronics, it is important to cool down these systems, which is where the cooling systems are used. ASPJ is going to be a single pod. Now, indigenous electronic warfare suite, which has been developed for LC Mark 1A, consists of an internal receiver unit and external pod jammer. The internal receiver unit is a new generation electronic warfare receiver system which operates in wide frequency range. It is an internal system and fully digital receiver based solution with powerful real-time signal processing using complex and adaptive algorithms. Now the external pod jammer is going to be none other than indigenous ASPJ pod. As per DRDO, the development of the wideband receiver and ASPJ pod is complete and the developmental flight evaluation on LCA Mark 1 is under progress. Next we'll talk about the electronic warfare suite for Su-30 MKI. Again here the ASPJ is a main component which is designed for Su-30 MKI and is a podded jammer configured in an LH and RH configuration and will always be installed as a set that is one set that will consist of both LH and RH pods. As per latest update from DRDO, the development of pod structure is complete and it is at present undergoing qualification. The last but not the least is Dhruti RWR. 
Dhruti is a state of art 6 channel digital radar one receiver that not only offers a wide dynamic range and large bandwidth of detection but also offers good sensitivity selectivity and wide instantaneous bandwidth it is a multi bit digital radar warning receiver that can intercept a wide range of bandwidths and track emitters in real time the 6rwr can provide coverage of 360 degree back in august 2021 it was reported that indian air force is going ahead with rupees 1000 crore project for the upgrade of rwr for the fleet of its 125 su30 mkis it is not clear as how many su30 mkis have been already upgraded however we have been seeing it integrated with almost all su30 mkis now recently during aero india 2023 it was reported that 129 dhruti rwr has been cleared for production dhruti even works fine with the russian jammer which is sap 518 without causing any interference with its working in november 18th 2022 bl has signed a licensing agreement for transfer of technology with combat aircraft system development and integration center of drdo for the transfer of technology of dhruti rwr this was today's update please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector